under the leadership of Dr. Yoshiyuki Sankai, what it began as a university project in robotics is now an exciting international venture. Cyberdyne brings wearable tech to the world of medicine. We create innovative cybernetic systems in order to treat the stroke patients, uh, neuromuscular disease patients, and spinal cord injury patients, and so on. The first of its kind to actually improve the wearer's physical function, uh, rather than just uh, helping them while it's being worn. Japan is home to one of the highest per capita elderly populations in the world. This gave Dr. Sankai an idea. What if Cyberdyne expanded its business to offer the same core services to a new demographic, the elderly? We offered a technology which could help both the caregivers and uh, care receivers. When it's used by caregivers, it could uh, prevent injury for those persons. And when it's used by elderly people, it could improve their independence. For Cyberdyne today, growing means crossing international borders. But each new country it expands to has its own set of regulations and market realities. One of the important strategies is we have to consider how to promote our businesses in the capital side and the technological side and the business structure side in order to consider the differences of the medical systems in each country. So we are trying to find excellent partners in U.S. areas or European areas or Asian areas. For other countries, we are still not very well known. So we have to accumulate more clinical trial results. We have to do more advertisements. We have to really speak out that this technology is available and showing how it could change people's lives. This one is a very strong passion for me. For Dr. Sankai, expanding Cyberdyne services to different customers at home and extending their reach around the globe isn't just a long-term investment for his company, but an opportunity to benefit the world.